have never gone easy on the old Subaru L-Series, that's no secret. But since being hit in the rear by a bus not long after we obtained it, and again more recently being rear-ended by a Toyota Corolla, the old girl seems to be down to about one horsepower rather than the usual two. While I've been busy with other projects, Jake will fix up the old exhaust for what I think will be the Subaru's last adventure. Taking that off. Okay, so when it got rear ended by a bus and a Corolla, it pretty much kinked that probably why we were getting such bad fuel economy. Okay, you can also see where there was a bit of corrosion and as the uh, vehicle came up the rear, everything else bent all the way back to here and so there's a bit of a kink here as well which will affect performance so I'll probably shove a bar down there and lever it back out a bit straighter and just use a hammer and a bit of heat. While he had the exhaust system out, Jake decided he was going to open up the muffler and try and make the Subaru sound heaps sicker. Here it is here. Exhaust gases come in through here. Now, high speed frequencies would usually go all the way through, sorry, it's a bit heavy, go all the way through, hit there, and it bounces, the frequency bounces off, creates an opposite frequency that hits the oncoming frequencies and it just cancels each other out. So basically, this is just a whole bunch of sound waves rattling around in here, cancelling each other out. Uh, when it's idling, some of it would come out these little holes here, which are mostly gummed up with carbon and flaky, rusty shit. So we'll clean all that off, but what we're also going to do is cut a whole bunch more holes in this. And this is the outlet. So usually, it will come all the way through here, go all the way back through there, and then go out the outlet. So what we're going to do, whole bunch of holes in this, whole bunch of holes in that, create heaps more flow. I will also add that we're only doing this because when you've got the time but you don't have the money to afford to buy a uh, aftermarket fart can, we're just going to make this one better with the time I do have which is a free afternoon.
So there you have it. A baffle with a whole lot more holes in it. We'll see how she sounds when it gets back together. In the industry, you call that bird shit. Okay, well from what we can uh, what we can tell is it revs a lot a lot freer. Um, and we'll take it out on this very uh, wet weekend. Get some footage of how she goes and how she sounds. Uh, looking back on um, on this small project, the only reason we've um, done it this way and not actually spent money is because when, you, when you're dealing with a, a car that's only cost you a thousand dollars you're not going to spend a quarter of what the car's worth just putting a fart can on it so just cut the muffler open and we fixed up those bends in the pipe and I think it's, uh, it's going to be very good <laughs> 